2020 was rough, but through that adversity, we've seen podcasting in Canada survive and thrive as the demand for content exploded. Podcasting was there for listeners who wanted some normalcy and helped to educate and entertain people in troubled times. Podcasting was also there for creators and storytellers looking for an outlet. As one of the most successful mediums, anyone can create a hit podcast from the comfort of their own home, which is a great idea, and a microphone. So a big thank you to our Canadian podcasters who entertained and enriched us. We have a wealth of talent here in Canada, and these awards hope to represent the best of our unique attitudes, opinions, ideas, values, and creativity of Canadians. We have a great show for you tonight, so sit back and enjoy, and welcome to the 4th Canadian Podcast Awards. Presenting outstanding debut for a series, Craig Fay and Rebecca Reeds. As a new podcast, it can be difficult to stand out and attract listeners, but recognition from the Canadian Podcast Awards can go a long way in helping shows stand out and attract new audiences. As previous winners in this category, here's Rebecca Reeds to tell you what it meant for us to win. Could not have said it better myself, Rebecca. And the nominees for Outstanding Debut are... Dwarven Moss. Happy Good. Parkdale Haunt. The Liquid Courage Podcast. This time it's different. And the winner of Outstanding Debut for a Series is... The Liquid Courage Podcast. Thank you so much for this award. This is so cool. It's really nice to feel recognized for your work, and it is especially nice to feel recognized by other fellow podcasters. Especially right now, it's a weird time, and it's hard to find a sense of community or really feel that, so this is really special. Thank you. It means the world to me. Presenting best host in a series, Jocelyn Getty. Hello, I'm Jocelyn Getty, and I'm here to present Best Host in a Series, which is awarded to the host who has shown exceptional personality and skill in interviewing, conversation, and voice, and is a powerhouse in entertaining guests and audiences alike. And the nominees are... Abba Imaquando, Amanda Pereira, Chris Locke, Elamine Abdel Mahmoud and Sara Morshtahedzade. And the winner is Elamine Abdel Mahmoud. Congratulations! Presenting Outstanding Personal Series, Ken Bull. Today, it is my pleasure to announce the winner of the 2021 Best Podcast for Personal Podcasting. Uh, this category highlights the uh, podcasts that do an outstanding job of bringing the listener into their world using a documentary, journal, or confessional format. Uh, now, believe me, I think this is the best that podcasting has to offer. It's a very special, this is that really touches the the individual so i'm going to read out the names of the nominees and uh, then at the end uh, the announcement you've all been waiting for confessions of a new grad en privé s'il vous plaît i was eight jesse avec moi Notes from the front line. And the winner is... I was a... Congratulations. Well done, everyone. Wow, thank you so much for this honor. I've always felt that uh, most personal is most creative, so I, I just loved being in this category. And now to get this, thank you to everyone who voted. Thank you, Canadian Podcast Awards. 
Thank you to uh, all the podcasters and those who listen and support our work. Thanks so much. Presenting outstanding documentary series, Lily Mills. Outstanding documentary podcast series leverage fiction's tools uh, to give us, you know, interviews and real events and make them real in the listener's mind. So our nominees today are Crime Beat, Heaven Bent, History of the 90s, Hustled, and Story Hunter Podcasts. And the winner is History of the 90s. Thanks so much for recognizing History of the 90s as outstanding documentary series. It means a lot to me and to my team, Dila Velasquez and Rob Johnston, to be recognized in this category. And thanks to Curious Cast for supporting the show. Presenting Outstanding Indigenous Series, John Lushinsky. This category recognizes excellence in the creation of compelling content by Indigenous producers. These podcasts can focus on any aspect of Indigenous culture, arts, society, politics, or lived experiences. And the nominees are... Two Crees in a Pod. Anti-Racist Educator Reads. Media Indigena. Métis in Space. Native Calgarian. And the winner is... Métis in Space. Congratulations. We use two words to describe what we do. The word podcast, like everybody. But we also have a French word called balado. This word is only used in Quebec, not in France, not in Belgium, though they are starting to, but still the word podcast leads. And in a formal way, we have to use the word balado, which is a contraction of balade, like walking around, strolling around. And they added an O to make it more, I don't know, coolish. But it doesn't really work, so we use both words. And there's sometimes many debates in our newsroom which word we should use. But we all agree on one thing, we're very proud of doing what we do. Call it balado, radio, podcast, whatever you want. And we're also very proud of being part of this big Canadian podcast balado family. Presenting exceptional francophone series, Charles Tran. We're very pleased to be uh, here tonight. And let me introduce the nominees for the uh, Outstanding Exceptional Francophone Series in Podcast. Here are the nominees. Henri Cup. La Place Podcast. Le Balado des Dangereux. Le Plancher des Vaches. And the winner is La Place Podcast. As a very small francophone fish in a huge national podcasting pond, it is very validating for us to be recognized in this category and to show that even though we're small, we can play with the big kids. So thank you, Canadian Podcasting Awards. Merci beaucoup. Presenting Outstanding Branded Series, Lily Mills. Hey folks, Lily again from PodCamp Toronto. Our next award is for Outstanding Branded Series. The podcast audience is really loyal, which makes a format appealing to commercial brands. This category is meant to recognize audio production excellence in any format by or for brands. 
Our nominees are Behind the Breakthrough, Disruptors, Hello Movies, The Jazz Tagger Podcast, and This Is Mining, the podcast. And the winner is This Is Mining, the podcast. Thank you to the Canadian Podcast Awards for recognizing This Is Mining, the podcast, as the winner of the Outstanding Branded Series category. I've learned a lot about Ontario's mining industry through this series. Nickel, copper, cobalt, gold might be what we mine here in Ontario, but I've learned the elements that make up the industry go way beyond what's mined. Science, technology, engineering, and math, inclusion and diversity, a sustainable and green future, adventure, a legacy of community building in Ontario. These are the elements of mining. Thank you to all of our incredible guests for sharing their stories and to the Ontario Mining Association for their partnership on this series. Plus, as someone who's been podcasting for more than a decade, thank you to the Canadian Podcast Awards for recognizing the great talent in this country. Presenting Outstanding Foreign Series, Marissa Melnick. I'm so excited to be presenting the award for Best Foreign Series. This is awarded to a breakthrough show across any category made outside of Canada. And the nominees are... Behind the Bastards. Inside the Groove. My Brother, My Brother, and Me. Player, player. The bald and the beautiful. And the winner is... The bald and the beautiful. Thank you to Hindenburg. Winners tonight will receive a one-year license to their Journalist Pro software that lets you concentrate on your story while they ensure audio quality. Intuitive audio editing for storytellers. Hindenburg. Presenting Outstanding Adult Series, Aaron Pym. Unlike all the other podcasts in all the other categories who are strictly reserved for an audience of children five and under, I am here to announce the Outstanding Adult Series, podcasts that contain adult material like sex, drugs, and throwing your back out from sneezing. The nominees are... Disability After Dark, Fuck Buddies, Hey Bitches, Minute Women, and Nerds Who Swing. And the winner is... Disability After Dark. I am so excited that Disability After Dark was awarded the Outstanding Adult Series Award of the 2021 Canadian Podcast Awards. It means so much to me to create a show about sexuality and disability that I never thought would go anywhere to be recognized as a Canadian Podcast Award recipient for a show that is so unique and so diverse about sexuality and disability. I never thought disability would be recognized in this way. Thank you. Presenting Outstanding Arts Series, Kristen Zaza. The category of art series in podcasting is a wide-ranging and eclectic one. The Canadian Podcast Awards describes it as covering the gamut of human experience, which I think is a particularly excellent way of putting it. And the nominees are Dr. DC Podcast Hot Plate 
Real Legitimate Anthology, The Breakfast Dish, The Read Along, and the winner is Dr. DC Podcast. People ask me, Dr. DC, has winning the Canadian Podcast Award for Best Art Series changed you at all? I don't think so. Still humble as ever. What's going on here? Oh, just enjoying our win. I bought a few things with the cash prize. There is no cash prize. What? Presenting Outstanding Business Series, John Lashinsky. Covering topics ranging from startups and entrepreneurship to marketing, product management, and living your best life. This category is for podcasts that excel at leveraging business advice to give listeners a leg up. And the nominees for Outstanding Business Series are... Creative Block. Hustled. Making a Living Show. Rebel Rebel, the podcast. Waves, social podcast. And the winner is... Hustled. Congratulations. Thank you so much to the STAR, the Atkinson Foundation and Antica for uh, giving us the space to work on this project. It was um, a huge joy to work on. And I also want to say a huge thank you to the workers who shared so much of their time with us and made this project possible. So thank you so much. Presenting outstanding comedy series, Craig Fay and Rebecca Reeds. Making people laugh with a podcast is no easy feat. It requires hosts to be natural and yet spontaneous and witty in a way that makes the listeners feel like they're laughing along with friends. Friends who really want you to get a Squarespace subscription, but friends nonetheless. And often that comes down to the almost impeccable rapport that between hosts. Isn't that right, Rebecca? Well, still better than the boring categories. And the nominees for this year's Outstanding Comedy are The Dr. DC Podcast Ghost Facers Happy Good The Liquid Courage Podcast This time it's different And the winner is This Time It's Different. Well, this is great and it's an honor. So thank you to the Canadian Podcast Award for everything that they're doing to support Canadian podcasts. And thank you to the COVID-19 pandemic for forcing Peter and I to basically stop everything we were doing and start a podcast. So it's been a very fun and creative outlet that I quickly grew to love. And I just want to thank everybody who's been listening to the podcast so far and everyone who voted for us. I didn't tell Peter about this award at all when I applied because I just wanted this win all for myself. So I just asked him to record a generic video saying thank you. And I didn't tell him what it was for. So uh, here it is. Um, thank you. Is that good, Chris? Is that what you wanted? Presenting Outstanding Education Series. Jason Tetro. At one time, education was limited to the three R's, reading, writing, and arithmetic. Today, education spans the entire spectrum of our human existence. These five podcasts have increased our knowledge in our world, and ultimately, ourselves. The nominees are... Fuck Buddies. Psyched. Teach me about doggies. Teach me how to adult. The Bed Post Podcast. And the winner is... 
The Bed Post Podcast. I just want to thank everyone so much for voting me for best educational series. Uh, education is a huge reason why I started the podcast. And my intention in a lot of ways is to kind of fill in the gaps of the usually very poor sex education we all received. Um, so I'm really happy to hear that people are receiving my co- podcast in an educational context and that they are getting something valuable from it because that really is my intention with uh, choosing guests and the types of conversations that we're engaging in. So thank you so very much. This is really meaningful to me. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Presenting Outstanding Fiction Series, Lily Mills. This particular category recognizes everything it takes to create an outstanding work of fiction in podcast form, uh, from story writing to storytelling to sound design as well. So our nominees are... Dwarven Moss. Makeshift Stories, On a Dark Cold Night, Parkdale Haunt, and Real Legitimate Anthology. And the winner is Parkdale Haunt. I'm Emily. Uh, We are so excited and so thankful We wanted to give a special shout out to our amazing podcast network, Frequency Podcast Network, as well as to all of our amazing cast. Also, I'm Alex, uh, and big thanks to Ian Bodie, who is our engineer and sound designer, and to Pirate Toronto for letting us use their studios to record. And thank you again to the Canadian Podcasting Awards. You're the best. Yay! Presenting Outstanding Health and Fitness Series, Krista Lamb. I'm thrilled to return this year to announce the winner for Outstanding Health and Fitness Series. From fitness and nutrition to alternative medicine and meditation, podcasts in this category aim to improve the health and wellness of their listeners by sharing stories and insights across a range of topics and formats. And the nominees are... Happy as a Mother. Hey, bitches. Psych Ed. Self-Esteem Party. Sex News with Ray. And the winner is... Self-Esteem Party. Congratulations. God, you guys, thank you so much. I want to thank the Canadian Podcast Awards. I want to thank Michael and Mariana from the Sonar Network. I want to thank my producer slash husband slash roommate, Norm Sousa. I want to thank myself. I think I crushed it. And remember, you guys, believe in yourself. Believe in your body. Rock, rock, rock. It's the self-esteem party. That's the theme song to my show. So um, check it out. Presenting Outstanding Kids and Family Series, Ty Poole. I'm so excited to present this award for Outstanding Kids and Family Series. All of the series in this category have mastered the art of capturing the short attention span of kids, which, let me say, is not an easy feat. Here are the nominees. 1923 Main Street. Eric Reef's Alice in Wonderland. Moms in the Middle. October Jones and Fish with Legs, and The Imperfect Parent. And the winner is... October Jones and Fish with Legs. Congratulations! Receiving this award means that we were able to reach people and connect with them fundamentally, and for that we are incredibly grateful. Thank you to our friends who volunteered their time to our project full of wacky characters and stories. We've fallen in love with this world we have created, and it's heartwarming to know that others have too. 
Thank you for allowing us to hear you. And thank you for letting us know it's worth it. Thank you to all of our sponsors. We couldn't do this without them. Please be sure to check out Hindenburg, Lashinsky Design, PodCamp Toronto, and Pod News. Presenting Outstanding Leisure Series, John Lashinsky. Niche podcasts are the leading format, bringing new audiences to the medium. Outstanding shows in this category have built a loyal community around a shared passion. And the nominees for Outstanding Leisure Series are... Cutscenes. Dr. DC Podcast. Dwarven Moss. Escape Capade. The Left Behind Game Club. And the winner is... Dwarven Moss. Congratulations. Thank you, Canadian Podcast Awards, for the award for uh, Outstanding, Outstanding Leisure, Leisure Podcast. Podcast. Thank you. Dwarven Moss, Dungeons & Dragons. Oh, Super Lord. Lord. Thank you to Luca Tarantini and James RPG. James Art. RPG Art, Luca Tarantini, the best. Mike and Mariana. Of course, Mike Sonar. and Mariana. I'm so sorry. And this dagger. And this dagger. It's giving me all the power in the world. Inspiration point over here. <laughs> Crit. Crit. Good night, everyone. Presenting outstanding music series, John Lashinsky. Podcasts in this category bring insight and creativity to discussions about our musical heroes. Topics span discussions, deep dives, criticism, history, live shows, and interviews. And the nominees for Outstanding Music Series are... Behind the Vinyl Podcast. BSO Offstage. La Voix à l'Aveugle. The Sloan Selection. This is not a Drake podcast. And the winner is... This is not a Drake podcast. Congratulations. Presenting Outstanding News and Current Affairs series, Jordan Heath Rawlings. News and Current Affairs recognizes excellence in reporting and coverage of world events. Outstanding shows in this category educate listeners on matters crucial to our understanding of the world we live in. And the nominees are Hashtag On Volume, a TVL podcast. Party Lines. Social Fish Dimson. Speaking municipally and the progress with work. And the winner is Congratulations to Party Lines. Great job, guys. Hi there, it's Rosemary Barton, co-host of Party Lines with my other co-host, Elamin Abdul Mahmoud. We are so thrilled to uh, win this award and want to thank you very much. We work really hard to try and bring uh, the political conversation outside of Ottawa to people. And we've been trying to really meet people where they are this season. So thank you for recognizing that on behalf of Elamine, myself, our producer, Emma Godmier, and our executive producer, Nick McCabe-Locos. Thanks. Presenting Outstanding Science Series, Jeff Porter and Daniel Chai. The Outstanding Science Series Award is given to the podcast that makes it its mission to educate listeners on all things scientific, from the smallest zygote to the larger universe. This category is open to shows of any format or style that shares in the wonder of the scientific realm. Here are the nominees for Outstanding Science Series. Anthro Dish. Behind the Breakthrough. En Think Menu. RX Advocacy. 
songs clips and the winner is on think menu Thank you very much. It's a great honor to uh, receive this award, especially in this uh, category. I'm very proud uh, of my team. Tonight, uh, we work every every day. We, we work with a different journalist, so I, I'd like to thank them all, uh, especially Baptiste, Elise, Elisabeth, Felix, Veronique, and all the others. I'd like to thank as well my bosses, Etienne, Benoit, Mathieu, Jean-Nicolas, thanks for uh, believing in us. And uh, I'd like to thank uh, also the jury. And uh, I would uh, just wish you a very nice evening and long live the podcast. Presenting Outstanding Society and Culture Series, Keith Thomasek. I'm here to present the award for Outstanding Society and Culture Series. And as a former recipient of this award, I can't say how grateful I am to be here today. And the nominees are... Anti-Culture. One More Round. The Bedpost Podcast. We Like Theme Parks. You Better Represent. And the winner is Anticulture. Congratulations. I'm so honored to have won the Canadian Podcast Award, um, the fourth iteration this year in 2021 for the Outstanding Society and Culture Podcast. Thank you so much, Canada, for believing in me and my dreams of being a host and helping me explore the stories that we might underestimate or take for granted. I want to give a big thank you to all of my guests who's been with me for the past four seasons and everyone who's tuned in, listened, and supported my efforts. I'm so honored to have won this award. Presenting Outstanding Sports Series, John Lashinsky. Covering the gamut from interviews and history to analysis and punditry, this category highlights shows that have created a cult following and made storytelling about sports accessible to a wider audience. And the nominees for Outstanding Sports Series are Second and Out CFL Podcast Below the Hardwood Les Antipodes de la Lutte Open Era The Steve Dangle Podcast And the winner is the Steve Dangle Podcast. Congratulations. Presenting Outstanding Technology Series, Lily Mills. Our next category is Outstanding Technology Series. As technology continues to penetrate every aspect of our lives, Outstanding podcasts in this category provide context and expertise to help us weather the revolution. And the nominees are... Big Tech. Disruptors. Mon Carnet, L'Actu Numérique. Tech Town. And Tech Won't Save Us. And the winner is Tech Won't Save Us. A big thanks to the Canadian Podcast Awards for this outstanding technology series award. I started Tech Won't Save Us last year while so many of us were still in lockdown to create a more critical conversation around technology. And it's been great to see that a Canadian audience, but also a global audience, has been interested in these ideas and has listened to the show. So thanks so much for this award. Presenting Outstanding Television and Film Series, Michael Mangiardi.
Today you'll be presenting the award for Outstanding Television and Film Series. Television and film is something that's very close to all of us, I would think, especially when we're stuck at home in these unprecedented times. COVID, heard of it? And the nominees for Outstanding Television and Film Series are... Born on This Day podcast. I hate it, but I love it. Squirrel Talk. Talk from Superheroes. You Better Represent. And the winner is... Squirrel Talk! We would just like to thank everybody for this award if we did win. I'm not convinced. But thank you to everybody who voted, to the Stoner Network, to all my co-hosts, to all our guests, to all of our listeners. And I, you know what? It's only going to get better from here. So you, you better clutch your nuts, honey. <laughs> thank you to Pod News. Get your daily briefing every weekday about the podcasting and on-demand audio industry. Concise, to the point, and a truly global view. Presenting outstanding true crime series, Lily Mills. Our next category is outstanding true crime series. This category seeks to recognize excellence amongst our podcast gumshoes who are looking into real life stories. They're seeking to uncover the truth through personal testimonies and other sources of evidence. The nominees are Canadian True Crime, Crime Beat, Killed to Death, Someone Knows Something, and Uncovered. And the winner is Someone Knows Something. I was happy to learn that uh, Someone Knows Something and my production team has won the Outstanding uh, True Crime Podcast Award from the Canadian Podcasting Awards. I'd like to thank my uh, executive producers and the director, Leslie Merklinger, uh, executive producer, Araf Narani, uh, Chris Oak, senior producer, and uh, most importantly, Cecil Fernandez, my uh, partner in crime and uh, the mixer and lead creative on uh, Someone Knows Something. Uh, it's an honor and privileged honor and a privilege to work with these folks. And uh, I think that the true crime area is important and that all the podcasts in this uh, realm uh, uh, have the potential to help cases and help families. So I'm uh, proud of the work that we're able to do. Thanks very much. Presenting outstanding artwork for a series, John Lashinsky. It takes a lot to stand out in a sea of 500,000 plus podcasts. Podcasts in this category have aced their branding, creating podcast album art that's not only clever and attractive, but can also make the perfect piece of merch. And the nominees in outstanding artwork for a series are Overdue Fines, Spooked, The Breakfast Dish. This time it's different. Waves Social Podcast. And the winner is... Overdue Fines. Congratulations. Presenting outstanding main title theme music for a series, Lily Mills. Our next category is for outstanding main title theme music for a series. The podcasters we're looking to acknowledge in this category have gone above and beyond stock and commercial music to provide a real sound identity for their show. The nominees are... Haven't Seen It Podcast... On a Dark, Cold Night, Parkdale Haunt, 
self-esteem party. And we like theme parks. And the winner is On a Dark Cold Night. Hi, thank you so much for this. This theme song has been the title track of my imagination for the last three years, and it means so much to me that it got stuck in more heads than just my own. As a composer, I really couldn't ask for anything more than that. So thank you so much to my fellow podcasters and listeners for singing or humming or whistling along with me. Thank you. Presenting outstanding original music and lyrics for a series, Lily Mills. Our next award is for Outstanding Original Music and Lyrics for a Series. This category recognizes the strongest original soundtrack or score that a podcast producer has used within an episode to enhance their storytelling. The nominees are... Dwarven Moss Happy Good October Jones and Fish with Legs on a dark, cold night. And we like theme parks. And the winner is... On a dark, cold night. Thank you so much. I'm extremely honored. This award means a lot to me because I've always considered music to be a language all of its own, and for On a Dark Cold Night, the music that I create every week is as much the heart of the show as my words are or my voice is. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for listening to my music. Presenting outstanding production for a series, Marissa Melnick. This next award I'm presenting is for Outstanding Production for a Series. This is awarded to the show with the best overall production quality, spanning story, editing, writing, and sound mixing. Winners in this category will have demonstrated a key understanding of the best ways to use on-demand audio to tell a story and connect with an audience. Dwarven Moss Hustled on a dark, cold night. Real, legitimate anthology. This time it's different. And the winner is Hustled. Thank you so much for this award. The production of this podcast took a lot longer than expected due to the pandemic and uh, sudden bankruptcy, but we have so many people to thank for getting it done on time, including the Star, Antica, the Atkinson Foundation, and most of all, all of the very brave couriers who shared their story with us. Presenting the People's Choice Award, Aaron Pym. I am here to announce the recipient of the People's Choice Award. That's right. It's the award chosen by the people, by your listenership and your following. Unlike the rest of the categories who are nominated and chosen by bots and dogs. And the nominees are Dwarven Moss. Happy Good. Hustled. I hate it, but I love it. Killed to death. On a dark, cold night. Parkdale haunt. Spooked. The Liquid Courage podcast. This time, it's different. And the winner is... I hate it, but I love it. 
Thank you so much to the Canadian Podcast Awards and to the From Superheroes Podcast Network, especially our producers, Andrew Ivamy and Diana McCallum, and to my wonderful partner, Craig Fay. And to my wonderful partner, John Blair. We also want to thank our families, our friends, and above all, our listeners. Thank you to everyone who voted for us. We love doing this show. We are so grateful for this recognition. This rules. Presenting the Goyetch Award for Community, Mark Levis. I had the great privilege of knowing Bob Goyetch in his lifetime. He was uh, passionate about, well, back in the day, pirate radio, and then the modern version of it, which is, of course, podcasting, and ham radio eventually as well. The big thing about Bob is he wasn't just about content production. He wasn't just about talking for the sake of talking. He was about talking to unite people, to create a sense of community. And that ultimately is what led to the creation of the Bob Goyetch Award. Sadly, Bob left us much before his time. And so uh, the Bob Goyetch Award has been created to keep his legacy alive and remind everybody what podcasting is really about. It's not about making a fast buck. It's not about making influence. It's about making good friends. And I have great friends in the podcast community. In fact, it's kind of fitting that I'm in Valleyfield right now because the recipient of this year's award spent some time in his youth growing up in the Valleyfield area as if you listen to his back catalog of insufferable podcasts, just kidding, uh, you'll learn some of his story. And uh, one of the great things about the Scarborough dude, as he became known, named by Bob Goyetch, which I guess makes Bob Goyetch Scarborough dude's father of some sort, um, is that uh, Scarborough dude uh, not only is very big into uh, community creation and relationships, strange though his approach might be, but he's also about, as I like to say, making it okay to be human. He was brilliant about telling stories about his own life, mistakes he's made, and how he's addressed them. And that's what makes him such a special person. The crazy uncle of podcasting is this year's recipient of the Bob Goyetch Award. And uh, very fitting that he would get it. Congratulations, Carver, dude. Well, hello and uh, thank you. Um, it is indeed an honor to uh, be selected for this year's Goyetch Award for uh, helping spread the word, I guess. Uh, supposedly made a, an impact, helped grow the community. I don't know about that, but uh, I, I'm especially pleased uh, to get this because it's uh, it's named after the man who started me off in podcasting, Bob Goyetch, and uh, I treasure that. Um, I value the community and the friendships that have been formed uh, through podcasting. Um, more than the individual podcasts themselves, but uh, it's it's all great fun. Um, it is it is an honor to be selected with uh, past recipients, uh, Mark Blevis, uh, Anthony Marco, and of course Bob Goyetch at the beginning. And um, I'm I'm grateful. I I feel very very pleased to uh, to have this recognition. Um, there is a cash award that I will be donating at least 10% uh, towards the charity that has the uh, best logo and makes you feel really shitty if you don't give them money. And uh, I am sorry to say that at this point, I will not be accepting um, sponsorships, but uh, try again in future and we'll see what we can do. So... Uh, once again, this is Ken, a.k.a. Scarborough Dude, uh, genuinely, sincerely, very, very grateful for uh, being recognized by the community. And uh, I truly do love this community of podcasters. We're the weird ones. Thank you. Congratulations, Ken. And congratulations to all of our nominees and winners this evening. Truly a remarkable display of Canadian talent. A special thanks to all of our presenters this evening and to our sponsors who make this possible, Hindenburg, Pod News, PodCamp Toronto, and Lashinsky Design. Well, that wraps up the fourth annual Canadian Podcast Awards. Thank you for watching, and head over to campodawards.ca to discover a new favourite podcast. Goodbye! (laughs) 